Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Star Trek Birth of the Federation. We are playing as the Klingons. We are the Red Territory here. We just finished recently an inconclusive war. We concluded an inconclusive war with the Ferengi. We're still fighting a war with the Romulans of the Federation. We honestly didn't start any of these wars. Well, once upon a time, I did attack Romulans, but that's all right. So we just sent the Romulans a peace proposal so that we can focus on our one true enemy, the Federation. The Federation recently took... Um, Corinth from us in a bloody fight that I probably should have ran away from, but I wanted to fight it. We're Klingons. We don't surrender. Um, the big problem there was their Vulcan ships. Their Vulcan ships did a lot of damage. We took out three of the four of them. Um, the other things, we are fighting a uh, war, I think, against the Uridians here, the minor race. So we're trying to pull what's left of our fleet back. And apparently the Federation are attacking an outpost of ours. Yes, sir. Let us attack. We're going to attack the destroyer there. They will die well. Because if you look down under the shield, the shield is the green line. The um, It's in the lower left-hand corner. The uh, kind of pink lines, that's the hull strength. Keep firing! Are you serious? We didn't even get through the shields on that? Oh, great. We're going to lose our outpost. Well, that is one ship down. That wasn't so great. Our task force has been destroyed. Klingon seeds Kronos. We're not sieging ourselves. That's the Uridian sieging us, and for some reason, it's not coded right to tell us that we wouldn't be attacking ourselves. Klingon breakthrough in matter conversion. Matter conversion allows matter to be converted directly to energy and vice versa. With powerful imaging scanners, it is conceivable that materialization could be patterned on the molecular or even quantum level. So we can build orbital batteries, basic replicators now, and uh, matter furnaces. Or that opens We have up. news from our diplomats. What the fuck? We trust all as well with your people. We will both benefit if we share military resources. What do you say? Perhaps this will open the door to further business between us. I'm going to reject it. The, the reason I'm going to reject it... Treaty will be rejected. Even though it would be nice to have um, the ability to go up in here um, and use their stuff is then they could come down here and meet the Tamarans or the Antikins, which I don't know, maybe they already have. Let's see, Ferengi. Uh, they know the Antikins. They're friendly with them like we are. They don't know the Tamarans. I don't want them to get to know the Tamarans. Speaking of which, let's go talk to the Antikins. Why don't you guys, oh man, become affiliates of ours? Time has come to be the military affiliates? I don't want the Ferengi to win them over. They might because the Ferengi have money to do stuff like that and we don't. All right, so we got a battle cruiser there against three Uridian scouts. Damn it, troop transport. They're going to attack Tornosa Prime. Um, oh, we don't even have any energy here. That's not good. Purchase acknowledged. Oh, we're building colony ships. I don't think that should be our prime um, concern right now. Let's build a couple transports. Then a couple of battle cruisers. <coughs> Tamarans, how much do you like us? We need a minor race to join us. Cause we, well, we got to, but like the Katarans and the Benzites, they don't have anything decent for production. We have news from our diplomats. All right. Apparently, the Romulans didn't agree to our peace treaty. We said no need to change our pre present relationship with their people. Uh, let's offer them a peace treaty again. Our friendships must be begin with mutual recognition of our borders. May this day long be remembered in the Klingon and Romulan histories. Alright, let's um, try and form a fleet here. I don't think we have enough there. Do we have enough money to build this? Purchase acknowledged. We need to liberate Corinth. Plague strikes till beta. The plague is striking till beta. The death toll is estimated at 35 million. That's terrible. We have news from our diplomats. We have no interest in such a restrictive agreement. Damn it, Antikins. The Fringi are going to get them over it otherwise. Okay, what's here? Three Uridian scouts. Not too worried about that. See if we can liberate Corinth. The Federation signed a non-aggression treaty with the Romulans. 
We have news from our diplomats. We see no need to change our present relationship with your people. Fine, maybe then we'll start taking your planets, asshole. Two Vulcan ships? Well, it's one Vulcan ship, it's something else. Let us see. Uh, this might be a long shot. Let's see if we can liberate Corinth. System will be attacked. We buy another assault transport? Yes. Purchase acknowledged. The Federation signed an alliance with the Cardassians. Damn them in their peaceful ways. Citizens sock to uh, flock. They sock. They start punching each other to <laughs> for promise of long-term prosperity. A boom in the population. Corinth repels. Oh, why can we not liberate our own people? God. A genetic uh, architecture. Genetic architecture allows biologists to create living organisms whose function is gene generally predictable. Design DNA essentially from scratch. These bacteria can make alien soil suitable for the growth of edible plants. So you build an aquaculture center, which is food, and a class 3 hunting ground. We have news from our diplomats. I can't believe we didn't liberate... Our warriors will engage the enemy. Corinth there. Okay, we can't afford that. Let's see what the news from the diplomats is. We feel justice has been satisfied. Let there be no more hostilities between our people. So, um... Does that mean that... We're going to quit being at war with you? Alright, let's try it again. This might be a stupid piecemeal way to go in, but... We'll just slaughter our own people then. System will be attacked. Yay, we liberated! No attacking ships destroyed. One transport deployed uh, troops to maintain order. 12 million people killed. So let's, let's see what's left on Corinth. Oh, it seems alright. Put some into industry. We'll have them build some basic replicators while they're at it. And uh, probably another foundry. We should actually take a look at the other systems, see how they're all doing. <clears throat> oh, good, because some of these aren't building things. Let's see. Why don't we have you guys build an aquaculture center and then basic replicators. Oh, wait, no. We don't have enough energy for the basic replicators. Uh, why don't we have you build a m another matter furnace and then basic replicators. I would buy them for that that for them, but we really need the money for other things. For more warships for war. Let's have these guys build a aquaculture center and basic replicators. Let's see, Katara. They need a foundry. Damn it! I hate to put the money Bridges into that, but they definitely need one. All right, battle cruisers. Where should I send you? <clears throat> Plus, we don't have the money for that. Oh, why did I not pull this energy down earlier and put it into research? That was so stupid of me. Somebody probably mentioned that a long time ago in the comments. It's like, ah. Yeah. Let's move you forward, battle cruisers. Oh, the Iridians want peace with us because they joined the Romulan Empire. So technically, they still are at war with us. The Ferengi declare war against the Klingons. Seriously, man. We Seriously? have news from our diplomats. All warriors look forward to war with the Ferengi. Damn it, Ferengi. You may have, and the Caress is like, you may have provoked the Federation to a declaration of war, but your actions make you the belligerent party. Are you kidding me? You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna get the battle cruiser going, we're gonna build a bunch of assault transports, and we're just going to start taking planets. I've had enough of this bullshit from these other races. We have news from our diplomats. The Qatar has made a statement. If it weren't for you, the Fringy would have the entire galaxy in economic slavery. Do whatever it takes to stop them. I will try. Can you dickweeds, like, start producing something, though? Okay, that'll make it a lot easier. I really need a... Damn, I need a colony ship so that... Uh, so we can get Katara and the Benzite system going. Why don't we go up here and see if we can hassle Praxis for a little bit? Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. What's in this fleet? Cruiser. Two cru two light cruisers. Three light cruisers. Damn it, Federation. 
Federation, do you want peace? Like, we're warlike people, but everybody wants to fight us. We're like, this will have established borders or something. Get off my ass, brosif. Bends our system taken by the Federation. No attacking ships destroyed. 17 million people killed by the bombardment. Uh, we had a breakthrough in data imaging. With this technology, computers can faithfully represent physical matter as data and use solid matter as long-term data storage. In practice, this allows material sample to be duplicated as easily as a data file. We have news from our diplomats. Every Klingon and boy are shamed by the failure to defend the Benzar system. That is not good. <clears throat> Maybe they can develop the Benzar system? That would be nice. How close are we on this battle cruiser? Seriously? One more turn we should have that. Get three battle cruisers and get them going. <laughs> nice shot. All right, Klingon outpost. Can you survive these four the Romulan are online. destroyers? They will die. What? Keep, keep firing. Well, we got rid of one of them. Weapons. They will die. What? It will. It will take more than that. Do we damage it? Do we kill it? <laughs> well, it was a good day to die, I guess. That was great. I think we destroyed two others, Our maybe? Our task force has been destroyed. Unexpected climate shift has changed Sarosa 3 to a barren planet. Oh my god, everything that can go wrong just about is. We have news from our diplomats. The Federation rejected a non-aggression treaty. It's bio Purchase battle cruiser. Acknowledged. These terms are not acceptable. I cannot believe that everybody is... Not only is everybody fighting us, but like everything that can go wrong is. No, fuck the colony ship. I want to assault transport too. Battle cruisers, move into the, the nebula. We're gonna attack from the nebula. Hopefully, they won't even see it coming. Can we buy this. Transport? Purchase acknowledged. Okay. Our intelligence officers have news. Alright, there's starvation here. That's not a good thing. <laughs> That's what the leader says. Alright, a hunting ground, a foundry will upgrade their hunting ground. Um, I don't even know if we can liberate the Benzites with that little stuff. I don't think we can. Purchase acknowledged. All right, we have three command ships. Damn it, they still have that Vulcan ship. Select ship, solo assault. Ready to attack. Assault the Vulcan the ship. Empire. Um. Understood. Ha! Mere tar. Acknowledged. Ha! Mere target practice. Who's the other one? This guy. Where is our focus? Ha! Mere okay, we're gonna have most people go after the Vulcan ship, the Serac, and then one of the battle cruisers will go after the USS Norman, the light cruiser. Where are your shields now? <laughs> man, look how man those Vulcan ships take a pounding. All right, so we will take one of these off of the Vulcan Aye, ship sir. and go after the Norman. Ha! Mere target. They never stood. They never stood a chance. This might be the first deciding battle to kind of turn the um, tide of war against the uh, Federation. Let's Acknowledged. Ha. Ha. Mere. T I, sir. Ha. Mere target. Where are your shields? Where are your shields now? Ha. 
I, this is going to be totally worth it, I think, if we lose one ship and they lose two uh, cruisers like that and uh, a Vulcan ship. We'll select a group, group assault. I, ha, mere target. They never stood. They never stood a chance. Kapla, yeah. An easy victory. Time for some motherfucking blood wine, y'all. Great, they build an orbital battery on Benzar. That's absolutely fucking fantastic. How many do they have? One. Damn, we need more of those, uh... The Federation signed a non-aggression treaty with the Ferengi. We have news from our diplomats. What is the news from the diplomats? You may provoke the Federation into declaration of war. They're already at war with me, dude! What part did you not catch of that? Purchase acknowledged. Come on, we want to get enough of a army to try and liberate the Benzites. And then I do want to have, at some point, a colony ship. <clears throat> Sooner or later, though, the other forces are going to... Look, look at those troop transports up there. Damn it, there's just too many of them. <clears throat> You know what? <clears throat> Sorry about that. We are getting a lot of experience, though our battle cruisers are. Let's move up here in case we have to retake that system. Buy another assault transport. Start putting another battle cruiser on the docket. We have news from our diplomats. Finally, some good news. Long-awaited good news. Uh, Teo and Kanza, Kanza United, Tambars, arms wide on the ocean. Yes, um, Tamarans, we do want to be affiliates with you. Treaty will be accepted. What about the Antikins? The Ferengi are going to get them before we could. Right, let's move that troop transport north. Let's get these guys together. And go defend Qatar. Or Qataria. We have news from our diplomats. <clears throat> the Cardassians offer a non-aggression proposal. Were we at war? Or they, oh, they just want peace. We will accept it? Treaty will be accepted. The Federation are like, let's agree to put our hostilities aside and form a pact of non-aggression. We'll see, certain you'll see the wisdom of our words. As much as I want to liberate the Benzites right now, we need to stop some wars. We need to get, get the wars down to a manageable number of them, so we'll accept the peace deal Treaty from will be accepted. the Federation. You know, Romulus, you want to move your stuff into our space? Then we're going to move our stuff into your space and go after Praxis. Klingon signed a non-aggression treaty with the Cardassians. Klingon signed a non-aggression treaty with the Federation. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Are you serious? Oh my god, it's the Husnock. I fucking swear. We can't win. It does not matter what we do, we can't win. Alright, let's pull our stuff away from the border. Look at all those destroyers. That is seriously bad news. Alright, we've run into a Romulan fleet. They will probably run away. Understood. Ha! Mere target. I sir. We can only attack the transport here because the, the Empire. cruiser is close. Now the battle truly begins. Ah! You can tell our guys are getting really good because they only shot a few, um, I don't know what those are, photon torpedoes or whatever the Klingons have. Yes, sir. Ha! Mirt. Yes, sir. For the Empire. They never stood a chance. Sweet, we destroyed a Romulan cruiser. An easy victory. Plague? Are you... Oh. Plague has stricken the citizens of Corinth. The death toll is estimated at 9 million. 
We just cannot get a break. I don't know where the hell the husnock went. I don't even want to know if I want to know. <laughs> okay, so transport, why don't you go there? Corinth, why don't we have you build Put some energy in there? Now you got food. We will have you build uh, a couple of security centers in a hall of learning and then upgrade the hunting grounds. Let's see the other systems. Uh, Zucchini land needs to do some stuff. We will have you build a hunting ground, a couple of matter of furnaces, and then a basic replicator. I hope that wasn't too much there. That's not a very big system. Klingon Breakthrough and Epitaxy. Mon uh, monomolecular epitaxy allows the construction of material filaments one molecule wide. These filaments can be used independently or combined to make incredibly strong synthetic alloys. So we can build a bunker network, better foundries, the Great Hall. What's the Great Hall do? We have news from our diplomats. The Ferengi offered us a pack of non-aggression. This is our... This can be our pack of non-aggression, the first step towards peaceful coexistence. But our patience has limits. Looks up. Treaty will be accepted. Antikins, if I give you money, will you be our affiliates? That will mean the only war we'll be fighting anymore will be against the Romulans. My only concern here is the stupid Husnock vessel. Damn it. We don't want to get too close to it because I think it can destroy our entire fleet. It is powerful. Purchase acknowledged. Okay, we'll buy a colony ship so we can finally, hopefully, get the Katarans a little more off the ground. That's totally been a pain. Yay, the Klingons signed a non-aggression treaty with the Ferengi. I don't know if people don't like it. The people are disappointed there'll be no battles with the Ferengi. Give us time. Give us time. Let's see, there's starvation here still? Wow, it's just, it's growing so fast. We'll upgrade the hunting Purchase grounds. Purchase acknowledged. And then have to build a basic replicator. Let's see, the Great Hall, plus one morale um, empire-wide. We could use that, but we don't really have the resources that we can put on that right now. All right, everybody, I think that'll be the end of this episode. Next time, um, let's see, we'll just, uh, we'll just have um, a couple stuffs. <laughs> Next time, uh, we're down to just a war with the Romulans. Let's see how big the Romulans are. The Romulans have eight territories. We have seven. So, I don't know. I I think we can take them. My biggest concern is the um, Husnock vessel that's up there. That's a serious problem. But I guess that can wait till another day. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.